the game of myself playing Sundered Lands Arthropods against Selfish J. I'm just debating what to quickly put down as my starting one. I only just threw this one in. Mix has been a bit of a terrible battle group for me, to be honest. I have been struggling with it. Right, let's see. Check that combat log. So I'm just thinking, with the mind warp, he's going to be at a bit of a nuisance, because anyone that attacks him... Hello, Dark Seductress. I hate the fact that I cannot see you, because now I do not know what you do. And I'm not going to lie, in the background of this game, I was going frenzy, just going on to runes to search them up. Just so I could look into and see what it does. So you'll see my mouse go static for a bit while I'm going, Alright, Dark Seductress, I'm right here. So, my turn now. And I'm like, ooh, I think I see her. Come on me. She's right there, you can see her now. Here I am. And there you go, instantly, what do you do? Tell me everything about you. Fascinate. Good to know. I'm just like, that's fine. I want to move up, but I do want to stay in there. You kind of have a problem. I'm like, okay, okay. We've got everything I kind of need to do. Do I want to deploy anything? I kind of do. Fine. Incubator, you can come out. Like, I'm sure there'll be some eggs for him to play with. This one I'm more horrified by. That one's going to cause me some fear. Right, so Ink Blight Witch. Definitely going to beat that spitter. That spitter is going to need some backup if it's going to have any chance in the world to deal with that. And we've got another deploy. Alright, well, I'm going to go in and contest that for now. I'm going to go in there and take that as well. You might as well inspire and make him a little bit better, because he's going to be frontline contact, so he's going to do some fighting. Place that just in case there's anything aggressive to be concerned about. And yeah, I don't really have the Nora. So, yoink! Let's see what he does. So these are all coming in. I'm like, yeah, you can take three steps, you can blind me, so I'm not going to get any attacks in. And even if I do get an attack, the first one's going into the Oblivion Shield. So that, that's you in. And you're cursed, so you're not going to be doing anything for a while. Hmm. Very interesting choices, and I know that there's going to be a witch coming up here to contest. Hmm, just a banner. Well, I'm kind of okay with that. At it. Wall banner. One to two range, so I can't stay too close. Six speed, so he's only going up to ten, so he needs to move at least two spaces. And does have fascinate. Do I want to do anything here? So I'm just debating what my best play is going to be. Yeah, you'll be able to. As I know, fine, you're gonna drag me in anyway. Let's move you so just so I'm not messing about with AP. And now we've got this bottom font situation. Well, they 
quite rough, they're difficult to deal with. This is a job for you, Cricken Wing Alpha. You'll be able to do some work. And you run like hell. It is just not worth losing this champion to that at this point in time. Because I'm thinking, well, he's deployed a relic here. I'm not overly concerned. I'm like, fine. Even if I'd moved a little, I'm still going to get attacked. But I don't think he'd be able to kill that. And if he invests too much here, I still have the capability, potentially, of getting a contesting relic into that form. So let's see what she does. Because the nice thing is, if they do go for the brawl, I have the potential to just, you know, abuse the fact that Wandering is going to trigger on that unit and go take the font instead. That's the thought. That's my thought process. Still, a waiting game. What will he do? Okay. Let's see. She's gone back, so she's stealthed. I'm like, fine, put a trap there. Everyone sneak back a bit. And I'll think about what to do with him. So I know with all of that Nora, I'm not expecting many deploys. So I just retreat him a little bit further and just go there. You might as well get the bonus too. You just hop in the font. And well, you've deployed a ranged unit up here. He's going to do fine with elusive. So I'll just sneak that in. I think I'm okay with that for the moment. I'm just using up some AP just to be in the habit of it. Next up, let's see what we can do about this bottom font area. I feel relatively comfortable with that Crick and Wing Alpha going in, just considering how obnoxiously tanky they are. Because they really are obnoxious, I'm not going to lie. Right. What are you going for? So we've just got the curse, one speed, one damage, all this fun stuff. Okay, free damage. Whoop de doo. Hit him again. I'll regen it at the start of my next turn. So I'm not concerned with that at this point in time. I don't have to do anything. Ooh. Okay, what was this? This was Elsari. Oh, not 100%. That was too quick for my own good. And I'm calculating what he's up to. Oh, fine. You're going to let me sneak in and drop a relic. Yep. I'm fine with that. Let's see what's going on here. We've got three witches in the top area. He's not going to be hidden for long anyway, so that's not a big deal. And he does have at least the detect ability. Okay, another relic. So I'm kind of like, that's fine. This guy is dropping relics for me. So I might as well get an attack in. I am tempted. Do I use that or not? I don't think so. I think I need to hold fire. Let's see what we can do here. So, he's given me the ability to come straight into the font. So I've got full ability to contest without any of the major concerns. So now I have the option go, okay, okay. 
we've got the option to deploy, got the option to pick a fight. I think I said it's kind of tempting to deploy. Do I what do I want though? What is going to be the most beneficial? I do like the Demonic Sands Claw though. It is a very nice looking unit. Um, hmm. I think I just go, yep, yeah, that's deploy. Someone who's really going to pick a fight. I don't want to spend too much Nora. There we go. Let's get him in. He can drive. That'll be useful. Unfortunately, he's not in the best location for it. But I think he still provides good value. And as it stands, I'm just going to be like, I can tap that, which is hourglass. One hit on the spitter and blind on the Cricken Wing Alpha. Not 100% sure why the blind on the Cricken Wing Alpha, but I do have the Dragon Staff. Technically also have Purge if I wish. I'm in a pretty comfortable spot to be honest, because I've got the ability to drive and drive. That's fine, let's see what goes on here. Hello Wandering. Now you're going to come closer to me. Because I can see he's just not keen on engaging with me. Which I'm okay. You stay back. I stay back. The main fight is at the bottom font. I have the numbers here. Okay, we have decaying. That's annoying. So he's at 48. I'm just doing drive and drive. So halves even the reach in, which is a little bit of a shame. And I'm like, yeah, and then I can get a double tap in. Just having a think. In this case, you come a bit closer. Oh, I can see her anyway, so that's fine. You break this. There's her attack range. I'm like, okay, I need to take a step back or two. So we're just saying, you know, you do you. You do you. There we go. <laughs> Wiggle him around a little. Now I'm just debating. It seems I'm going to go for the Ink Flight Witch. I'm not sure why I decided to stay. Ah, okay, I've decided I want to start getting the free uh, summon in. So we've got Nora. Got the ability to play. Got the ability to deploy. Well, if you've got the ability to deploy, who's going to be useful? I think at this point I'm feeling... He is just so good. I've always liked the Rolling Shrieker. He does a lot for his Nora cost, really. Good damage, good regen, defensive capabilities. He can kind of really keep someone busy. So again, he, from what I can see, he's not got many options here. If he comes in, he's not going to have that range support this turn because of the wandering. So I'm okay with this. I'm just hoping that he's going to come in and step in the traps, to be fair. Come on. We've both got relatively even. He is definitely deploying more relics. I am starting to get more champions. Okay, here she comes. Nope. Another Witch's Hourglass. Oh, isn't that something? 
That is a lot of relics, to be honest. At this point, I'm thinking, actually, I've got the potential for a kill here. Yes. One. We check the spacing. You've got ability. Who are you beating on? Oh, you're just beating on the Cricken Wing Alpha. He can take it! And we've got another deploy down here, so I'm not going to see any other spells right now. So we've got a need for some driving. I think we've got a very busy turn now. Right, my calculations are correct. We have a quickening. You've got six, so you've got enough for one attack. Very good. That's exactly what we need. You come close enough to do this. Now you come close enough to do this. You two start lining up. You do a drive, do a drive, do a tap. Now, go ham, everyone. Two hits, so I know the acid's gone off. And you've got plenty of hits, too. Now he's engaged, I'm comfortable there. You do your attacks. Free AP, because I've marked them. And that gives me another two, because of the Vigor Acid. I still have enough to be a nuisance. And actually... I want the Norglo too. Thank you. Sadly, there's not much this guy could do this turn. Is there a need for me to deploy a banner? Kind of want to, just because I know that those units are about to be beaten for a little. Yeah, let's get a banner in, just so that they're that little bit tankier. Right, we in. We're in a much more comfortable situation. Yep, you can hit me twice if you wish, but we are actively engaged now. I have the ability to go into your font, should I wish. I've got a supporting champion in the background. Your bottom font is now heavily contested. Yeah, and anytime you tap me, you get wandering. Which kind of works for me. Okay, disengage. You can kind of get it, because this guy now is, you know, pretty pathetic. Painful, painful. Still standing. Still standing. He's not standing anymore. So the battle up here is still ongoing. Quite... Nicely. Another spell. I'm fine with that. He's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you can't do so much right now. Okay, I think you're just going to do a hit. You come two steps closer, you do that. And you, I just want you to be able to move that a little bit quicker. You might as well start making your way. Do something useful there. Six damage is not going to be enough, but I do want that Norglo. 
<laughs> I'm fine with that, you may as well get a hit in. If he's not going to take the normal globe, I will. Because that little mantid is a bit of a nuisance, because it can only be attacked by the witch on the... the kneeling witch. Do I want to do a... no, there's no value in that. Not much she can do, so you may as well take a step. And I think I'm just going to tap this anyway. And then I can get rid of it next turn. In the meantime, down here we're a bit more comfortable. So let's bring in... Yeah, come on, do it. Demonic Sandclaw. He should be able to set me up. Alright, let's see what he can do. Fascinate, and I'm still out of your range. Nothing you can attack with her. Sure, you can get two attacks on that, but that's not a big deal. Okay, it's more of a big, bigger deal than I thought. But he's still alive without a spell. And that means he's got the ability to potentially attack. And the scorpion's lined up to take it, so the... There's more opportunity. Oof still alive with one HP. What was that? Chains of Corruption. Still standing. Let's see what's going on in this bot. I think by and large I'm cool with whatever. Oh, there we go. Hope you enjoyed watching. Bye for now.